I'm sure you're fully aware, most of my videos correlate with what's going on in my day-to-day -day activity with real estate. Um, today is an interesting day. I mean, I'm this. I enjoy this day. Uh, in the state of Texas, we have property taxes, and uh, they're significant. So today, we have hearings in front of the board to dispute our property values. Now, most people they'll receive their statement from the uh, from the county, and they'll go, "Okay, it's gone up again this year," and they do nothing about it. I mean, absolutely nothing. Some of them even look at it as a badge of honor saying, hey, my property's worth more. This is great. I don't. What the county assesses your property at versus an appraisal on your property when you go to sell it are two entirely different things. Now, the formulas that Zillow and you know, all these online deals they they come up with, there is some element of the property tax value that goes into valuing it, in addition to comps and things of that nature. But uh, I really don't care what Zillow thinks it's worth. It only really matters what it's worth when you're selling it and when you're paying taxes. And I want the absolute lowest number possible when I'm paying taxes. I'll deal with it when I've got to sell it. We can get an appraisal. We can do the things uh, to justify the value of it. But I don't want the state justifying the value and, and them being the authority. Uh, I want to pay as little taxes as possible. And this is our opportunity to, to get in front of we used to do this where we would go back and forth with an agent within the county and basically negotiate. Uh, it was very informal. Matter of fact, it was called an informal hearing. We would uh, meet, you know, we'd communicate via email and so forth at first, and then we'd cover several properties all at the same time, you know, just going through, and then, you know, we'd have open discussions about it. Well, I'd say four years ago, they went to this format where they just want you to go to the board. You make your protest, you submit your evidence, you can ask for whatever evidence they've, uh, they're using to determine your value. And uh, you go in front of this board, this board's, I believe it's a three or four member board with a representative of the county uh, there as well. So it's you, your party, these impartial board members who are actually paid, you know, so it's, it's a little wonky, um, but it's supposed to be impartial. And this is before you go to a, uh, the next level, which is, you know, where you're arguing it uh, with, with another board. But this should resolve 99% of the things. But you've got to come with a reason, either, hey, my house isn't uh, in this condition to be compared to the properties that the computer program came up with, because it's just a computer modeling all of this and determining what you owe, uh, which is why I say you should be arguing every time. Um, but even still, even still, uh, you can argue based upon the condition of your property or that it was miscalculated in some way. And there's a couple of boxes you could check. You check one or the other or both. I always check both so that I get in front of them and then I just hash it out. Um, today, I've got eight properties on the docket. Um, we've got to go back on Monday. Uh, I believe we've got another eight on the docket there. They give you about 15 minutes per property and it takes probably 15 minutes per property to go through it. You know, they've got to do all their formalities, you know, introduce the property, 
talk about what they think the value is. They give you an opportunity to tell what you think the value is and supporting evidence of what you may have. Now, of these eight properties, the av and I'm gonna just say average, it's about $50,000 per property that uh, they're going up on the value. You know, some are less, some are more, obviously, and, and 50,000 is just a round number. But for that $50,000, I mean, we're, we're talking what we do a factor of 2.67%, which is 2.67%. So it's like $10,800. The potential increase in our tax liability. I mean, real dollars, an extra $10,000, 10,800 and some change. And those are, those are real values in which we just have to come up with another 10 grand from our rental properties. So it's worth fighting these. Um, it's worth going in and it's worth, you know, doing this. And, and what you find is most of the time there's a compromise in there. There, there's generally a reason for this, or you can support your position. In my case, I've got comps, I've got new purchases, and I can say, hey, this is what I paid for it. Or these are the houses all around it. And plus, look at the condition of it. It's not worth, worth what you're saying. And we're buying class C properties that need severe rehabs. So clearly they're, uh, you know, they're not worth what they're saying. But when you purchase them, our county generally, it's not, it's not a guarantee, but generally they'll honor your purchase price and they'll lock that in for two years. Um, but you still go, you talk about it and think about it. I mean, I'm going to spend two hours this morning going in front of them talking for $10,000. Yes, I, I will win these. Uh, I'll give you the... I'll give you the play-by-play -play after it's done, give you an idea of how it all turned out. But 10,000 is a big deal. I mean, just, I'd say three or four years ago, give you a great example, three or four years ago, our property values had gone up, up almost, almost $2 million. Um, and, and I think that's uh, $2 million 2.67%, that's like $53,000 in increase in taxes. This is where your increased rents go. I mean, we're giving it to the county. We're giving it to the state. We're giving it, you know, a lot of times our profit stays right where we've established the whole time and we're just trying to keep up with inflation. Now, that's the beauty of real estate, the fact that you can adjust your rents and it paces um, inflation and things like that. And sometimes you get a, ahead a little bit, but uh, you know, not to, not to get off track here. I want you to know you need to fight these. It takes time. Yes. It's not, it's not something you've got to hire people to do. You can learn the process yourself. You can get in there. You can do what you need to do. And uh, you can be successful at this. I mean, I'm going to I'm gonna save $10,000. I mean, a penny, a penny saved is a penny earned. Well, I mean, this is $10,000. And I think that's a win. Let's see if I'm singing the same tune after the hearings. Uh, I'll get back on here a couple hours later and give you the outcome. So anyhow... Hope you're having a great day.